This is WJAZ's Big Broadcast. We know you'll be sitting up on the edge of your seats as the Starlight Sweethearts, Matt, and the WJAZ Big Band swing you off with I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter. from a bygone era. I mean, you just don't have big bands like that anymore, obviously, playing that kind of music. Um, there's obviously a nostalgia with the period, um, although it was, wasn't really a happy, happy period because, I mean, we were teetering on going into World War II, and um, although the music was just so festive and happy, and I mean, it, it was the whole thing about going out and socializing and dancing in front of a big band. Um, and of course, you know, things are so much different now. I mean, everyone's walking around with their, their earbuds and their iPods, you know, we're all very insular. And this was an era when you, all you could do is you could go to a concert and hear a live band, and that was exciting. So I think that's what we strive to do, what we strive to bring to the audience when we put this together. We always play really authentic arrangements of this music because Mark strives to keep it as authentic to the era as possible. Your embrace. Together and your embrace. It's a lot of work in the end, but I think it's worth it. Um, we try and get every detail down to the right note. I think that when people think of jazz, they think of that it's very arbitrary and very random and that it doesn't have the same repertoire that classical music does. But really, um, when one studies the 1940s, there's a lot to it. Um, there's a lot of detail and there's um, just a lot of work to it. And um, I think it is kind of underrated for a decade and for a genre. Based on the period, it's something that a family of like four, say a mother and a father and a son and daughter would be sitting around, not around the TV, but they'd be sitting around a radio and they'd be picturing these things in their mind. And so, you know, in keeping with that, we have a number of commercial uh, sponsors uh, uh, for our particular radio station, by the way, which is fictitious, it's called WJAZ, and I wrote a jingle for it. Every show, I mean, whether it was Jack Benny or Bing Crosby, they were always sponsored by some huge commercial sponsor, and there would be, you know, uh, messages throughout the program. Hands down, the commercials. They're just so much fun. They're really the main thing for me that takes you back to that period that you can laugh at that's, that's different from now. I just love seeing it all come together and um, just when everything's going strong, when you're up there on stage, you have this big band swing music going on behind you. I think 
it's almost like a step back in time. Um, you come into the auditorium and it's 2009, and once the music starts playing and the commercials start going and you see the costumes, and it just kind of, you know, is like a time warp experience, and all of a sudden you're like in 1941. MHE Jazz is like a family um, and just getting to work with the other groups, getting to all put together this production with the hours that we put in and the <laughs> painstaking effort and then finally getting a reward of seeing people enjoy themselves. The first year I came and saw the show and knew that I wanted to be a part of it. It's why I joined the group. It's my favorite time of the year. I hope that people really get to know how what we are as an ensemble as well as uh, enjoy the music. I love seeing um, the older folks of the community and the students here at Mount Holyoke both enjoying it at, side by side. I hope they get entertained. Um, I hope they're brought back um, uh, to a time period they may remember. I hope that we're able to take some cares away. Um, I'm hoping that um, it's just a fun experience, uh, just like for the students. I'm, um, because what we strive for is right from the get-go when the audience members walk into Chapin Auditorium, um, they hear the pre-show music of the Andrew Sisters with Glenn Miller, a uh, live radio broadcast. They see, you know, all of the little touches like the logo that we have for the station and the lighting and, and all of that, the costuming. Um, we hope they just get transported away finally getting a reward of seeing people enjoy themselves, have fun listening to this music from decades ago, and just come up to you afterwards and say, thank you for what you did. Thank you for putting us back in that time and for giving us a piece of the 1940s this Sunday. That's a great reward. Next time, so long, everybody. Bye.